Today I'm making art inspired by the Venice Canals in Los Angeles, California, and the medium I'll be using is watercolor and pen. The Venice Canals are a series of man-made canals just a couple blocks inland from Venice Beach, and they're lined with walkways and connected by footbridges that make them a nice place to wander around. So I start out by drawing an outline of the painting in pencil. And before I did this, I measured out an 8x10 rectangle because that's how big I want the painting to be. And I made some markings where the middle points are to help me with the proportions of the drawing so that everything's kind of symmetrical. And as you can see, I'm drawing a scene of one of the canals with a bridge going over it and the various trees and plants around it, including lots of palm trees. And then here I draw one of the little boat docks along the canal. The canals were built in 1905 by the developer Abbott Kinney as part of his plan to make a Venice of America. Initially, they covered about four times as much area and there were gondolas and gondoliers just like in Venice, Italy. Now I'm using watercolor starting with cobalt blue, which I mixed with water and used for my first pass of the sky. Then I take yellow green and emerald green and Russian green and mix those with water to make a green shade for the trees. And I use this mostly on the palm trees and other plants that are pretty bright green. Then I take some of that color and add Mars brown and Russian green to it to make it a bit darker. And I use that on these trees lining the canal walkway here and then any of the other plants that have a darker green tone or a more evergreen, like these two big fir trees right here. Then I mix yellow green, emerald green, and blue cobalt for another green shade with a bluish tint. And I use that for the row of saltbush plants that line the canals. Then I make some sort of blue, but I forget the color I used because it's not in the shot. And I use that to fill in all the water in the canal. Then I switch to a small brush and go back to the darker green to fill in the little gaps between the railings of the bridge where you can see the trees and plants behind it. And I use the blue for where the water shows through. And this is a fun thing about watercolor since it's so thin as a paint you can get really really detailed with it. Most of the canals were filled in and replaced with roads after LA annexed Venice in the 1920s and the only reason the existing canals weren't filled in was because there wasn't enough money at the time. Then I take some burnt sienna and add some red ochre and violet and raw sienna and mix that up to make a brown that I use for tree trunks and branches. Then I use it at the base of the bridge too, and then on the boat dock, and then also along the edge of the water where there's a row of stones. Then I take violet and mix it with burnt sienna and blue cobalt to make a purplish shade, and I use that for the Santa Monica Mountains way off in the distance. Then I take carmine and mix it together with scarlet to create a magenta color for the bougainvilleas, which is one of my favorite type of plants that's all over LA. Then I take Russian green and mix it up with some emerald green and I use that to fill in the shrubbery behind these trees lining the walkway. And I also use it on some of the plants on the right side of the painting too, just filling in the rest of the white space that I've got there. Then I wasn't sure if I wanted to include this tree or not, so I didn't put it in the drawing, and then I added it at this stage once I got a sense for the rest of the piece. And then I take some green to fill in the canoe at the dock. Then I use black to make a little bit of gray for the base of the bridge. Then I mix together raw sienna and burnt sienna and yellow ochre for the lighter brown parts like the area under the leaves of the palm trees and some parts of the canoe. And then I switch back to green for the bridge. One of my favorite things about the Venice canals is the variety of plants you can see there. The homeowners along the canals take really good care of their gardens. Now I'm done with the first round of watercolors and I'm starting on the second round to add some texture and shading, starting with the sky using the same blue as before. 
And then I use green to do some shading in the plants to make them a bit more three-dimensional. And I use little brush strokes in places to add texture. And then I do the same thing on the right side of the painting, adding shadows under the fir trees here, and then some shading to give them some dimension and depth. Now I'm doing the reflections in the water, starting with the shrubbery that lines the canals. Then I switch to brown for the trunks of the palm trees, and then green for the leaves, and then gray for the reflection of the base of the bridge. And then I switch back to the blue-green for more reflections of the saltbush shrubbery. And then I go back to the regular green to add some shading and detail to the palm leaves. and also a bit of green on the bougainvillea. And then I use the blue-green for some shading on the saltbush shrubs. The canals are just north of the Bologna wetland, so there's lots of birds that like to hang out there, especially ducks. Now I take the brown to do some shading and details on the tree trunks and branches. And I make some markings along the palm trees. And then I make the reflections of them in the water, too. Then I do some shading on the dock to bring it some dimension. Then I make another layer of brown along the edge of the water, overlapping the part I did before and making a new line for the reflection. Then I take green to do the reflection of the bridge, and since this is in the water, I'm being less precise with the line, so it's a little bit wavy. Then I do the reflection of the plants and hedges in the water with the green and add in the reflection of all the green plants I haven't yet. And here I'm making a couple of corrections because I made the shrubs a little too big in the reflection, so I'm going over it with a different green. And I switch up the shades of green to match the appropriate above water color, and then I use some brown for the tree trunk reflection, and another layer of light brown in the canoe, and also on the reflection of the palm trees. Then I do another layer of green to cover up some brown that was a mistake, and then some magenta for the reflection of the bougainvilleas in the water. And then purple for the reflection of the mountains in the water. And then back to green for the reflection of the negative space between the railings on the bridge. And then also for the reflection of the canoe in the water. Venice is known as an artist community, and that's reflected in the little eccentricities you see along the canal, which adds a nice sense of quirkiness to the whole place. Now I use blue for another layer of paint on the water, this time only in the spots where the blue sky is reflecting. And you may notice that the negative space of the bridge is different colors above and below the water, and that's because the perspective is shifted. And then I do another layer of all over green because it's starting to get a bit washed out. And I do the same with the blue green on the salt bushes and the darker green plants. And this is to amp up the saturation of color along the whole piece, including the reflection of the palm trees and the bougainvilleas too. And there's other types of creatures besides ducks around the canals and lots of butterflies because of all the flowers. And now I take the neutral black tint to do a layer of all over shading on the piece. I'm adding more texture and detail to everything here and really defining where the sun is hitting and where the sun's not hitting, where there's shadows and where there's light. And then I do another layer of brown on the reflections of the tree trunks in the water, and then another layer of blue on the sky, and then one more layer of light brown and green on the canoe and in the reflection of the canoe. And then I use some neutral black to shade the reflections of the trees. This is the scene I decided to paint, except I replaced the white boat with a green canoe and added some bougainvilleas. After letting the watercolors dry, I now take a fine point pen and start outlining everything, starting in the top left corner and working my way down so that my hand doesn't smudge the ink. And I mostly go along the lines I've created with the paint, but I'm not too careful about it because I like those little irregularities where the paint and the pen don't perfectly line up because they add a bit of life to the piece. 
And this part of the process is kind of like doing a coloring book in reverse and it's fun to do because everything's all laid out already so I don't have to think too hard about it and you can just focus on the details. And then I draw in the stones that line the water but only the ones that are above the water. I'm not outlining any of the reflections in the water. And then I outlined the bridge, which is definitely the most complex part of this piece, but luckily I laid it out already with pencil and paint, so the outline isn't too hard. And again, I stop at the water because I'm not outlining the reflections because they'll look more like reflections if they're kind of hazy. And then I finish up the outline on the right side of the painting, outlining the trees and then the salt bushes and the stones lining the canal and also the canoe. And then I do the dock, which finally looks like a dock once it's outlined in pen. And then I go back and add a couple of details like the breaks between the trees and then also some notches in the palm tree trunks. And then I go back to watercolor again to pump up the vibrancy on some of the greens. I want the sky to look paler than everything in the foreground, so making the greens a deeper color will help with that a bit. And then I sign it and it's done. And here's a time lapse of the whole process from pencil to watercolor to pen to watercolor again. And there's the final finished piece. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to check out my other Venice video about Venice Beach. Bye!